Hi everybody. Last time we created a web page that looked like this. Fantastic black lettering on a big white background. Let's see if we can improve upon that. First I'm going to stop my server by hitting the stop button. The code we were using is here where I was just returning strings. The strings represented what the website looked like. Let me close that as well. Today we're going to be looking at Flask templates, or at least the basics of Flask templates. Flask templates will allow us to get something a little more interesting than this, something that looks sort of like a real web page. We're going to do this by first cloning a Git repository containing a Flask template, one that I created. Um, then I'm going to back up a bit and talk about how I created this template, how I went about and found some free HTML templates that look kind of nice, how I, what I call Flaskified a template, taking one of these free templates and making it into something more usable to Flask, and finally how to add pages to our website. Next video, we'll be looking at how to display dynamic content, meaning how to grab something from a database. We're not going to do the database grab, but how to display stuff from like something like a database where we'd have information about movie times and then display them on a web page or information about some products we're trying to sell in our inventory that's in a database and display them on a web page. And by the end of next video, we'll, you'll have about 80%, I'm just made up that number, but it sounded about right, of what you need to know about Flask for this class. So let's get started. Let me hopefully get that close. No. Yes. All right. All right, first thing we need to do is clone that repository. The link is on our web page. Um, so I'm going to type git clone and that link. And you see it created this folder template intro v2 or old school. I can just do an ls and see the same thing, template intro v2. In template intro v2 is a Python file. By convention, I name it server py. You don't need to do that. Uh, before I explain this, let me just run it to show you what. There, it's up and running. This is our previous ver version. Here's the new one. A little bit nicer, a little bit more, not as embarrassing. Hey, here's something I did. So it's a pretty trivial site at this point. It just has this fictitional, fictitious club, UMWRC club has some pictures that look nice. This JavaScript that handles this sort of scrolly pictures is part of the template. It's not something I did. And it has very minimal content. But hey, it's a start. So here's how I did that. So I just went to the web here. You're to determine when I took this video here by this Google Doodle. And you can uh, search for something like free HTML templates. And there's lots of places you can grab these temp these HTML designs. Like I just search for one, click on it. There's usually a preview button that you can look. And it's obvious to me that you know there's no way I could create something that looks as nice as this. You know, I might be able to kind of modify it a bit. It's at least a good starting point to something I w I would want. But doing it from scratch, I, I couldn't do. So it's great that people are offering these things for free. So if you're happy with that template, you can just download it. So that's what I did. That's the template I downloaded. And I grabbed this, that template from here. So it's, this is the website that I downloaded, CSS3 templates. Whoops. You can see they look pretty nice. I mean, they're not the most fantastic website, but at least they're not overly embarrassing. So I grabbed that template. I downloaded it. It's over here. I mean, it's in this folder here, CSS3, Cscape2. And that looks like this. You can see what I'm calling, quote, my web page doesn't is really doesn't couldn't doesn't count as my. I mean, I just barely made any changes to it. Right? I changed just a few things, but that's what the template looks like. So let's see what I need to do to convert this to Flaskify, this template. 
one thing I need to do is so when you just up let me back up just a second so here this page that is displayed when you initially go to the site is called index HTML let me open that throughout for the beginning or for the next 10 minutes or so I'll be talking about two folders the CSS3 Seascape 2 is the folder I downloaded the template folder that I got free from the web this template intro v2 is the thing we just cloned it's the how I converted the converted files that I created so I'm going to go into the download of the template here's the index HTML file that generates this page the first thing I need to do is determine well what part of this changes with uh, and is specific to index HTML and what part doesn't change meaning any page on the website will have that particular part of the page and it's easy to do here because we have um, the template actually gives us some information so here's what home looks like if I hit examples you know there's the example page there's some different content but some things don't change so what didn't change was this title block we want to keep it's going to be true on every page this menu will be true on every page these nice pictures were true on every page and this latest news sidebar was true on every page the part that's specific to index HTML is this part here welcome to the CS scape 2 template right because that's not on examples everything else is so I'm going to divide that code this original index HTML file into two files one part contains information specific to that index HTML page the first page or the page that you see when you first go to a website and the other file will contain information or HTML code that's true of all pages on that website so I look here at this original file scroll scroll here's the menus I want to keep those on every page these are the images those are going to be on every page here's the sidebar that's going to be on every page it's only this little bit that's going to be specific to index HTML so here let me get my template intro that's the part I created there's a folder called templates it's the, it has to be named that in order for flask to work so I have a folder called templates in there I have two files index HTML that contains only the HTML code that is specific to index HTML layout HTML is code that's true for all pages on the site let me go there here's my layout HTML file here's the original index file you can see they are identical well I changed some content right, that's the images sidebar and here's the part that changes so instead of that part which I got rid of I replace it with block content and end block so this little bit of flask code here let me show you that here that's what was there it has this div class content and the end of the div and then the actual content of the page those divs are still there but I replaced the content with this block content the index HTML uh, file starts with extends layout HTML so we this is the basic file I'll explain in a second it has this block content which matches block content in the layout file and then gives the HTML that's specific to the index HTML page with the end block so extends H layout HTML means go and grab this layout HTML file render that when you hit block content here this code says hey go find another block content here and replace this with the value of that so it goes here and replaces in the previous page what was there with this HTML so that was my first step dividing index HTML into two files part that changes part that doesn't change the next step is to look at uh, here again is the original folder that were that I downloaded from the web the free HTML template there's certain folders in here or certain files that don't change like CSS doesn't change it contains the style sheet style.css 
this font folder doesn't change. The images one has the images in it. That's all some static information, the JavaScript. So what I do is I have a folder here in the template I'm creating, the Flask template called static. It contains, as the name suggests, all the static files. And I simply am dragging or making copies of the CSS here, this folder, I'm putting as a subfolder to static. Fonts, I drag fonts. So all these static folders, I'm moving to the static subdirectory. All right, so we did that step. So now here I'm in the original index HTML, the original HTML that is in this template I downloaded. And you can see there are references to those files I just moved. Like there's this CSS style, CSS th reference. Well, it's no longer at that level in the hierarchy. It's now in a folder called static. So in my layout HTML, I've changed that at that path. So it's static CSS. Here's some JavaScript. I had to change the path to be static JavaScript. Let me go to where that was. Here was the original code, JavaScript, static. And all the images need to be changed. Their paths need to be changed. Let me get to the images. I have prepended static in front of all those. So I'm nearly done now. So I've divided the file up into things that change and don't change. I've moved all the static files or the folders containing static information to a folder called static. The only other thing left is to modify my or to create a server py file. Here it is. This server py file looks pretty much the same. Import OS, we did that before. From Flask, import Flask, we did that. We're importing another method called render template. That's new. I hope the name sounds straightforward. This is the same as last time. And here we have app root, which was the same. So now here in this return, instead of returning a string, we're saying render this template index HTML. This render template goes to index HTML index HTML instructs Flask to extend layout HTML means grab layout HTML start rendering that when you hit this code block content replace that with what's between this block content here this bit and off we go and we display what I just showed you okay that's pretty cool all right let's say we wanted to add another page to this site let's say uh, club officers. So let's see how we would do that. Um, there's a number of things we need to do for that. Let me just clean up a little bit here first. Let me get rid of extraneous junk. And I don't need that. All right. So one thing we'll need is uh, this index or a page equivalent to index HTML. So let me actually just do a save as here and call it officers. officers HTML sweet all right and that extends layout and I'll just say here let me just change a few things club officers I can't spell today <laughs> all right all right and let's say mm, let's say let's add a picture just to make it more interesting and I still can't type this bad. Um, ooh, I need a picture. Our club president's Chris Romo, and I do have a picture from a previous semester of Mr. Romo, so let me go and uh, download that. So I want to put that in images here, um, and I want to upload that file. Again, I can do it new school, drag and drop, but I'm going to go old school and just find it here. Let's see, desktop. Uh, here. Whoa, that's a big file. All right, and uh, it made it there in images, and I'm going to just close this upload thing. All right, and the source is, oops, sorry, um, section 1T. Well, I'm not in the editor section one. T one. 
end quote. All right, let me see if that works. All right, that looks okay, I think. All right, and now I need to call it in server py. So uh, as we did before, I need another app root. Did I save that? Officers. Okay, I think that looks good to me. So let's see if uh, it's there. So that would be under slash officers, if I can type. And it says club officers. Hey, that's progress. Uh, and it looks like my link is broken, so something's wrong there for the image. So let's see if we can fix that that would be an officer's HTML uh, section one team s1 t1 jpeg ooh well it helps to actually give um, a little bit of information of where that is and I see I also didn't have it spelled right so now I think that works so let me refresh that page. Whoa. And now this picture is really huge. And uh, that does not look like a good website. So let's say I don't know how to fix the, the dimensions of that web page. And I want to do some Google search like um, HTML image width, I guess. A and a, this W3 Schools is a very handy place, and Googling for information about HTML is really an extremely good idea. And here it seems like we have this width uh, attribute for image images. Let me use that here. Me, I'll just add a zero here because 42 is pretty tiny. Okay, now let's look at this improves the matter. All right, that actually looks pretty nice. All right, so let's say I'm happy with that. So now when I type slash officers, I get there, but man, no one's going to do that. We need to create something in our menu up here to have club officers and people can click on it, just like they can go to home and get to the home page, of which they can't. It's broken. So here that link took us to index HTML. We don't have anything called index.html in our server py file. If we look in our server py file, we see that we know how to deal with the slash, the main website. We don't know how to deal with slash officers. We don't have slash index.html. So that link, that's why that link is broken. So this doesn't work. And let's say we want to fix that and we want to change this examples to go to our club officers page. That's our goal. All right, so one question is, well, where would this be, this code? Well, this is part of something that doesn't change on every page, so that would be in our layout HTML file. Now, here's the top of it. We need to find where we have the menu. Here's the menu. Here's where it says to go to index.html. I'm going to change that just to be slashed there. And here's examples HTML. I'm going to say slash officers. And this is what was appearing on the web page, club officers. Let me refresh the page. Ah, I have club officers now, and I go to home. So that's fixed. All right. So now we've seen how to flaskify, how to get, grab a template from the web, how to convert it so we can use it in Flask all those steps, and how to actually add content to the page. Now might be a good time for you to experiment around with some of these ideas. See if you can add an extra page or two, or add a little bit of more content. If you're unfamiliar with HTML, it might be a good idea just to add a few things. Can you add a, just a, another picture or some other elements to the page? See you next time.